Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how Jojo Siwa wasn't invited to Kids' Choice Awards. Let's get right into it. Jojo Siwa was not invited to the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards in 2022, despite the fact that she worked closely with the network for years. In a post shared on Instagram the same night as the 2022 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards aired, the 18-year-old singer and actress explained why she wasn't at the annual awards show ceremony. Siwa said in her video, A lot of you have been asking me why I'm not at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards tonight, and the answer is very simple, I wasn't invited. She then said, I'm not sure why, but I just didn't get an invite. The Dance Moms alum reiterated the statement in the caption of her post writing, A lot of you have been asking why I'm not at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award tonight. I don't want anyone to think it was my choice not to go, I simply didn't get an invite. This isn't the first time JoJo has had issues with Nickelodeon. Back in 2021, Siwa publicly chastised Nickelodeon, claiming that the network was preventing her from performing certain songs on her 37 City Dream Tour, which began in January 2022. She tweeted at the time, referring to the movie The J-Team, which premiered exclusively on Paramount in July 2021, I go out on tour in January. My movie musical was just released with six new original songs. Nickelodeon told me today that I'm not allowed to perform, add any of the songs from the film into my show. Siwa added, these are my songs, my voice, my writing. Does this seem fair? She wrote in a follow-up tweet, there is no reason that this music should not be included. The star said in another message, working for a company as a real human being, treated as only a brand, is fun until it's not. Siwa's post about not being invited to the KCAs in 2022 came just days after she said goodbye to her signature long hair. After years of wearing her hair in a signature high ponytail, the Dancing with the Stars runner-up debuted her new short do on Instagram, simply captioning a gorgeous selfie, happy. In the photo, Siwa smiles at the camera as she shows off her short on the sides, long on top style. She shared how she's adjusting to life with dramatically different locks in another post later that day. Siwa said via her Instagram story, Yesterday I went for a down and curly moment, but today I went for an up and back moment. She then said, But let me know what y'all think. I think I might be into the up and back. As she continues to figure out what suits her, Siwa acknowledges that she's on a path of discovery and an exciting one. She said, I mean, it's going to be different every day, as I'm still learning how to do it. She then said, It's way different than long hair. It's crazy, but I'm obsessed. At the 2022 KCAs, Siwa was nominated for Favourite Social Music Star, but Dixie D'Amelio won. The event was hosted by Miranda Cosgrove and Rob Gronkowski. The next day in an Instagram post, the 18-year-old singer and actress shared a trio of photos of herself out, sipping an iced coffee and striking playful poses, while rocking a colourful outfit that included a lime green shirt, silver metallic pants and bright neon yellow and hot pink boots. Siwa captioned the post, Today is a good day, especially compared to yesterday. Jojo's post appears to have gone unnoticed by Nickelodeon, but the fact that she wasn't invited is beyond infuriating. Fans are understandably outraged, accusing Nickelodeon of homophobia because Jojo is effectively the face of the network at this point. Siwa first hinted at her coming out as she dances in the video to Lady Gaga's big track, Born This Way, widely viewed as an LGBTQ anthem. Out of the more than 100,000 comments on the video, several prominent YouTube influencers such as James Charles, Colleen Ballinger, Nikki the Jaeger, Bretman Rock and more congratulated and praised her. Siwa also sent a more direct message, tweeting a photo of herself wearing a shirt that reads, Best Gay Cousin Ever, and claiming it was given to her by her cousin. Siwa also shared an Instagram selfie of herself wearing a rainbow Gucci track jacket, which received thousands of likes and comments from followers, including musician Luke Eisner, Paris Hilton, and other celebrities. A few months later in a People interview where she called herself the happiest human alive, she talked about her relationship with girlfriend Kylie Prue. I still don't know what I am. It's like, I want to figure it out, and I have this joke, her name is Kylie, and so I say that I'm Kai-sexual. She then added, but like, I don't know, bisexual, pansexual, queer, lesbian, gay, straight, I always just say gay because it just kind of covers it, or queer because I think the keyword is cool. She was also the first contestant for Dancing with the Stars that had a same-sex partner. Anthony Allen Ramos, GLAD's head of talent, said at the time, At 18, Jojo Siwa is once again using her platform to inspire and uplift the LGBTQ community. As one of today's most watched and celebrated programs on television, Dancing with the Stars and Tyra Banks are making the right decision to feature Jojo Siwa competing alongside a female professional dancer. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys.
We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.